So as you learn in my Angular Basics course, web applications consist of two parts, a client side and a server side. This client side talks to the server side to get or save data via a bunch of RESTful HTTP services that are built using server side frameworks such as ASP.NET MVC, Node, Ruby on Rails, and so on. This is the architecture behind most web applications out there. Now, if you have been in the web development industry, you know that building the server side is often time consuming, especially if you're working with a relational database. Every time the schema of your database changes, you need to properly script it and then run these scripts in sequence to bring your production or test databases up to date. Now with Firebase, you don't have to do any of this stuff. You don't need to write server-side code or design a database with tables and relationships. Firebase gives you a real-time, fast, and highly scalable NoSQL database in the cloud and a library to talk to this database. And this is a huge productivity boost because you can focus on solving your customers' problems. You don't waste any time building and maintaining server-side code and database scripts. Now, what is this NoSQL database? Well, at a high level, we have two types of databases, relational and non-relational, which are often called document-based or NoSQL databases. In relational databases, we have tables and relationships. In NoSQL databases, we don't have any tables. In fact, we don't have schemas. We have a tree of JSON objects, and every node in this tree can have a different structure. You're going to see this in action throughout this section and the following one. So at a high level, you should remember that NoSQL databases are very fast, scalable, and increase your productivity because you don't have to worry about scripting schema changes. But they are weak when it comes to reporting. So if you need to aggregate data, join them, group them, and extract complex reports, you better stick to relational databases. Okay, now let's take a look at a demo of Firebase. So here I have a super simple to-do list app. This app does not have any server-side code. I'm gonna click this add button a few times. Okay, here we have a few new to-do items. We can also remove them. And these are persisted in Firebase in the cloud. So I have not designed a database with tables, neither have I deployed HTTP services to a web server. I have purely focused on my Angular app. Now let me show you something really interesting. The database we have in Firebase is a real-time database, which means as the data in this database is modified, all connected clients are automatically refreshed in an optimized way. For example, I'm gonna switch my browser to simulate a separate user connected to this app. So here I'm in Safari, and look, we have three to-do items. Now I go back to Chrome and add a new to-do item. Okay, now I'm gonna switch back to Safari and you will see this new to-do item appearing there. There you go. I didn't have to refresh the page to see this change. Also, if I had a mobile app that was connected to this Firebase database, that mobile app would also show this new item. So you have seen a demo of real-time database in Firebase. But Firebase is more than just a real-time database. It provides a number of other services, such as authentication, cloud messaging, disk space, hosting, and analytics. And remember, Firebase is not only for building web applications or Angular apps. With Firebase, you can deliver cross-platform apps. So you can use Firebase as your backend and build different clients for web, iOS, and Android. Firebase provides SDKs for iOS, Android, JavaScript, and C++. So you might be thinking all these amazing features, they should come with a big price tag, right? Well, not really. You can use most of these features for free. And if your application grows, you can either pay $25 a month or use their pay-as-you-go subscription model. To find more details about various features available in each package, go to their website, firebase.google.com slash pricing. All right, next we're going to create a new Angular app using Angular CLI.